I was really excited to be part of Engine Room because um, it was a wonderful opportunity as a solo artist to have a dedicated um, focused space to work in that's away from my office and away from everything else that comes with being an artist. Um, so it was wonderful to just have the space to develop and explore um, a new piece and start bringing it to life. Um, it was wonderfully collaborative, um, which created work, Creative worked with me to develop a package that really met my particular needs as an artist so I was invited to suggest different people that I might like to have in the room and as a, as a consequence of that I was able to work with a costume and set designer, a lighting designer for the first time, um, a dramaturg um, and uh, really have access to the whole team at Wiltshire Creative from the development and marketing teams um, to individual sound engineers and technicians and stage managers who are able to offer advice in areas that I was um, really new to. Um, so so that advice and feedback um, that came throughout the whole of, of my time at Engine Room was also supported and um, I was benefited from having the advice of other creatives that were involved. Um, so it was just, it was a wonderful experience of generating ideas and excitement around the work that I wanted to create. So the show is now ready to tour. Florence is ready to tour at the next opportunity to get out and perform it. So um, I have a script, I have um, a sound design, I have set, I have props, um, and I'm just waiting for an audience. Um, so it's wonderful to have a finished piece of work that's ready and um, that I can reflect on and, and still continue to develop in light of, of themes changing. And as a result of creating the show Florence um, and really having the time to reflect and be open to things, um, to the relevance of the themes, um, I've been able to create a sort of spin-off project from, from Florence. And that, that wouldn't have happened had I not had the benefit um, of, the, of, of creatives and other people working at Wiltshire Creative to really help me to reflect and explore in a lot of detail. So I've created a, a pop-up pedestal, which is another show, which is almost ready to go as well. So it's like a, um, an amazing experience to not only have come out with one show, but to have lots of options for other ideas to explore in future. So when I came to the engine room, I had a bunch of research, um, a huge number of notes, about 20 books about Florence Nightingale. Um, and from all of that paperwork, I was able to create and bring all to life all of the exciting um, things that I had learned about Florence. So I was particularly interested in the stories that we don't hear. I'm interested in hidden stories as an artist, but I'm looking at why Florence is denoted or depicted as um, in statue form as the lady with the lamp. Um, and I really wanted to unpick that myth and look at the things that Florence did um, for healthcare reform globally um, and access to healthcare for everyone um, and particularly people living in poverty. Um, so I wanted to look, explore that side of Florence's work as a campaigner but I also wanted to look at Florence's work as a statistician. I think it's so important if we're teaching um, Florence Nightingale in primary schools that um, children are able to see that Florence was, yes she was a caring person, she was interested in people's health but there was another side to her which I think is often overlooked when we're looking at presenting women in, in a certain way. Um, and I think having Florence as a, as a figure involved in science, technology, engineering, mathematics is incredibly powerful. And I really wanted to look at those aspects of Florence's work. As a songwriter and composer and performer um, using music, it was really exciting to be able to explore through Florence different aspects of theatre and performance. So it's a one woman show, Florence is a one woman show containing original songs and storytelling. And one thing I hadn't anticipated coming out of Engine Room is, is to develop that storytelling, which I'm which I'm so interested in. And um, the, the sections that come between the songs, how do I, in, in a theatrical way, share the story and involve the audience in, and invite them into a really creative and original space. So again, it was the set design, the costume design, looking at props, looking at the visual impact of my work as a singer and songwriter um, that really um, gained a huge amount from being in part in, involved with the Engine Room. I think there's two key ways that I really developed as an artist by being involved in the engine room. One is through just having the confidence to feel that my work is valuable to other people um, working in other creative um, set parts of, of, of the arts. Um, so for example, one of the other um, 
members of the engine room came along to an informal sharing of my work and gave me a huge amount of feedback and this is a person who's an incredibly well-respected playwright um, and, and performer so it was wonderful to have that input and, and feedback as I was developing the piece so just generally by having access to all of the people all the staff at Wiltshire Creative I, I my confidence actually lifted through the whole process and I felt um, a, a very valued artist and supported and looked after, um, which has had a, a longer term impact as well. Um, but I would say the second um, massive impact that being involved in Engine Room has had is to see myself as somebody who creates theatre as well as somebody who is a singer songwriter, but really looking at the production values of my work, the vis vis visual impact, the presence I have on stage and how I engage with audiences through the work. Um, and again, that's gonna have a huge long-term impact. It already, it already is having impact, but it, I can see that staying with me forever. So after I came out of the engine room, I continued to work on the show. Um, I sought feedback from other artists um, through this developed network. Um, I then decided that I would approach other people and other venues that I hadn't considered touring the show to. Um, so I've been able to build up a tour, which is being re rescheduled, but it, it's there, it exists and people want to see the work. So through the engine room, having that formal sharing with other people, um, uh, bookers, um, people working in programming at different venues in the Southwest, I've really been able to engage with, um, with those people and think about where the show can go. Can we? build up some workshops and outreach and wrap around around the tour itself um, and then I decided to put an application in for a project grant um, for Arts Council England um, which would look at building a pop-up pedestal um, it's difficult to dis <laughs> succinctly describe this but the pop-up pedestal is is now a piece of set that will be part of Florence but it's also a, a, a self-contained show which is for street theatre so I was thinking about the audience for Florence and I was thinking about people coming into a theatre or into a museum or um, gallery or library to watch the show and then I was thinking how can I engage audiences um, that don't necessarily come to traditional venues like that so I decided to create a piece of street theatre which would use this pop-up pedestal which is a stage or a platform um, that I can just put anywhere outside and engage a new audience so again through the engine room I very much have been exploring my engagement with audiences and um, and and how I can share the work with people who might not come to see theatre in a traditional sense. I would say to anyone who's thinking of applying to um, be part of the engine room, do it. It's absolutely do it. Um, you, you will feel a sense of vibrancy and empowerment in your work. You'll also feel part of a network and a community. Um, you'll get to know the guys at Wiltshire Creative. You'll get loads of advice if you want it. Um, and I would say definitely speak to the people who run the engine room about what your needs are as an artist. Be really honest and open and be open to exploring ideas that you'd never thought of doing before. Um, I'd say be prepared to um, to feel like um, a sense of of lift off about the work that you're creating and, and feel um, ready to share it with other people. Um, it's honestly been an immense and very powerful experience for me. So I would just want to say a huge, a massive thanks to Wiltshire Creative and the artist support team for involving me in the engine room and for taking a risk on my work as somebody who is looking to develop into the next stage of their their work as an artist um, and I think it's wonderful that Watch Creative have been thinking widely about who is involved so as a songwriter and singer I might not be the obvious choice for a, 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 pro a program that looks at, uh, at developing artists in the theatre world but honestly um, exploring the overlap between the different ways that we perform and share stories um, has just um, has just opened my mind endlessly to, to possibilities for the future. So I couldn't thank them enough um, for the support they gave me throughout the process, but also afterwards by staying in touch and checking in about Florence and, and making sure I know where to go next um, in order to keep the show alive and to keep it developing. <laughs>